London. My name's Kim, and I'll guide you on how to run the coffee business, or at least tell you what I've learned during the past 20 years. Your first task is to come up with a fun brand name and identity for your coffee company that will attract people and scare away these annoying pigeons. Shh, go away, you stupid creatures. I'm sure you can make it fun for the people, but these pigeons, they drive me crazy. What a brand! I bet your place will attract customers like bees to honey. Now let's learn how to navigate around the scene. Great! That's how you move around using the strategic camera. There's also a cinematic mode that gives you much more flexibility. Try it! Great! Now that you're familiar with the camera movement, let's do some actual work. This coffee shop has potential, but it looks like a stinky, dirty warehouse. Let's start by getting rid of the rubbish and these sheets covering the workstations. The coffee shop looks much better without all the mess, doesn't it? It still looks a bit neglected, though. Let's change that by repainting the walls and the floor.
still smells of fresh paint, or rather stinks like crazy. At least the coffee shop looks neat and will hopefully attract some customers. Although it's still a bit empty, so let's buy some furniture. know how to buy decoration items. Sometimes you may want to rotate or sell them. Try to do all of that now. That's music to my ears. I love it. Well, in this business, I actually started to like all music, or rather tell people that I love their choice a lot. But I guess the customers won't be coming to listen to your excellent music choice. They'll come to get some <coughs> coffee. So let's create a menu. You've added two basic coffees to your menu. However, some customers may be a little more picky. They may want to drink something more unusual. Let's learn how to create your own custom coffee using the coffee editor.
Look at that menu. In order to prepare your coffees, you'll need some supplies. Fortunately, you have some coffee beans in stock, but you're still missing water filters, milk, and takeaway cups. Let's order them. The supplies are ordered. Now you just have to wait a bit. It's the 21st century, so the drone fleet will carry the delivery. In our world, people are okay with drone delivery. You get it. This delivery company was so fast and modern. Drones? Whoa, enough talking. In order to shine in this business, you need to know one basic thing. How to switch coffee bean suppliers. When you first start, people won't care how good your coffee tastes. But with time, it's important to give higher priority to a better bean provider. Try that now. Great, now you have coffee on the menu and supplies in stock. It seems like you're ready to go, but who's gonna make the coffee? Let's hire a barista. Congratulations, you've just hired your first employee. He will rob you of your money quickly. Now you just need to set her slash his schedule. I think you're ready to open your first coffee shop. Let's do that. History is being made here. You've just opened your first coffee shop. Doesn't it feel amazing? I wish I could feel your emotions right now. Anyway, let's sell the first coffee and make some money.
Congratulations, your first customers bought a coffee. You'll be rich. Well, maybe after selling millions of them. But was the coffee good? Fortunately, you can use the mind reading device to find out what your customers think about their coffee shop experience. It's very important. Each review impacts your rating points.
Now you know what the customers think of your coffee shop. In the beginning, the customers won't judge too many aspects of your business, but it will change over time. For example, they may expect a bathroom in the coffee shop. Do you see that dark room on the left? That's a closed bathroom. Try to open it and see what happens. What a disappointment. I know you wanted to open the bathroom to your customers. They need to have a place to do their own business after all, right? But it's not time for that yet. First, you have to focus on building the golden bee level of your coffee shop, and then you can solve more and more of their problems. Solving problems brings joy, and trust me, they have so many, even more with each next golden bee level. Let's check the requirements for the second level. Great job! This concludes our initial tutorial. I have to go now to help another person start his own coffee business. I will leave you here, but I'm sure you'll come up with some nice decorations and create amazing coffee recipes, progress, earn more money, get a higher rating, run marketing campaigns, and find a way to get rid of these stupid pigeons! It was very nice to meet you. See you in a few months!
Thank you. 